Hi friends! Hey Facebook Party 101 ladies! How are you? Um, it's Monday so it is my turn to talk to you all and I have some fun things I want to share with you all today. So I'm going to give it a couple minutes, wait for some people to get their notifications and hop on. Um, and I'm going to get myself together. Let me know when people hop on so I can say hi to you and see if my comments work. If not, I'll just sit here and talk to myself. Ooh, somebody's on. Who's on? Hey, Kathy DeMarco. Can you say hi to me so I can see if my comments work, please? Anybody? Can anybody say hi to me? I just want to see if my comments work today. I've been having a problem with them, and it's been making my Facebook Live videos very difficult. Hey, Amy G. Oh, I can see comments. Hi, Roxanne. Hi, G Mama. Okay, so, um, hey, Hillary. Oh, I'm so happy my comments are back. That just, like, makes my day. Um, hey, you guys. Happy Monday. How are we all doing? Um, here in Pennsylvania, we're getting ready for like snowmageddon and um, do you guys have BJ's Costco? I just went and I got in and out in half an hour. I feel like a unicorn today. I am like a unicorn. These things don't happen on the day before snowmageddon. So, okay. So you guys, I messaged Courtney and I said, I have something I want to talk to the ladies about, but it's not social media. But I'm dying to talk about it because I've been talking about it on the director's page and I've been getting a ton of feedback and it's just been an ongoing conversation and it has just turned and twisted and angled in all these fantastic ways. And I said to Courtney, I said, I really want to talk about it with the Facebook partying page because I think this could help a lot of ladies come up with a new idea and tweak it to fit your personality and your parties. So here we go. So um, I was talking with a friend of mine, Amy Weiss. We were at a retreat together weeks, weeks ago, and um, we were talking about a party style she does where she, has, she gives them a card, and they have on that card it says where they're going, and then they have to go to her display and pick something about where they're going. So I kind of took that idea, ran with it, tweaked it, made it more my personality, and what I did was the dollar section of Target my favorite place to be you know they have like dollar three and five dollar well they have these little these cute little like scalloped cards and envelopes so I bought a big pack of them and they were three bucks and I took each of these cards and I wrote on them different places that you're gonna go so basically you know we all know that our bags are awesome for traveling and for just doing everyday errands but a lot of people forget and they go to a party and they say if I get another bag I mean if I hear that one more time but you're like but you know so um, what I did was I wrote up some cards of some places to go I am going to the grocery store I'm going to my kids baseball game I'm going to a dinner party I'm going to the beach I'm going on vacation I'm going to the pool um, and then I have like one really specific, I'm going to Hershey Park because that's near us. I'm going camping. Um, I'm going to Disney World. I'm going Christmas shopping all day because I want them to think outside of season. I'm going out for a night with the girls. I mean, you could just keep going on and on and on, right? That was, I'm going to Disney. This was, I'm going to take summer classes college student. Um, I'm going to a housewarming party and I am taking the train into the city for work. Hey, Allison Hill. And I'm going to BJ's Costco. So those were all my cards. I put them out. I fanned them out right at my party. I set up my display. Now I'm going to break it down. I have everything in the catalog. It's a personal choice what I like okay it makes me happy I make it work so I set up my entire display I have it all hanging on um, on a rack I have a garment rack like um, like a Lululemon rack you know I hang everything with velvet hangers so they don't fall off and um, and then I use like a coffee table or whatever else is there to display all the smaller items and now if you only have the kit that's perfect don't stress girls if you just have the kit 
you use the kit. It's, it's okay. You don't have to have everything. Now, I display everything. I introduce myself. I thank the hostess for having me. I explain how I know the hostess. Um, occasionally, I'll have everybody go around and tell me how they know the hostess. So that's like a puzzle for me and I can figure out how everybody is there. And um, it's just a good connection. Um, and then I will explain the monthly special and talk about um, talk about my why. I do a very quick snippet of a why and I talk about the monthly special. I showcase that I have all the monthly specials right in the middle of the rack and then I basically explain the game to them and I say here's what we're going to do. Now for this specific group that I worked with on Saturday it was a very large party. I had 15 ladies and I had a lot of veterans and a lot of newbies. So what I did was I paired up a veteran and a newbie and they matched up. I said, pick a card, any card. They picked a card. We went around the whole room. Everybody got their card. We, we partnered up, okay? And I said, when I say go, I want you to run up and grab one thing that you need for, I'm going Christmas shopping all day, okay? So that's her card. I'm going Christmas shopping all day. What bag do I need? So one girl would run up and grab her bag, run back, tag team her partner, her partner would run up, grab a bag, go back, tag team. They could do this as often as they wanted to get as many bags as they needed to go Christmas shopping all day. But nobody knew that they were going Christmas shopping. So once we did that, everybody was done. My display was gone, right? I had like five bags left, it was awesome. So now my bags are spread out around the entire room and I said to the ladies, I said, here's what we're going to do. If somebody took a bag that you need, you're allowed to steal it when it's your turn. When I tell you they all went like this, oh, thank God, because I really need that bag. So I'm like, okay, you can absolutely steal. And I kind of made it clear, my favorite is the All About the Benjamins. I held up my All About the Benjamins, and I'm like, obviously, every one of you are going to need to steal this because you're all going somewhere and you all need money. And that just kind of, because I sell that all about the Benjamins girls, I sell those like that because I tell everybody they have to have it. Um, so we started going around the room and people were, okay, so I'm going Christmas shopping all day. Now the ladies that pick this picked weird bags, <laughs> like weird. I would never have paired what they paired. They took the duffel. And I said, ladies, um, once we finally figured it out, I said, ladies, why, why did you pick the duffel? And they were like, oh, well, we just thought it would hold a lot. And I'm like, okay, I didn't know if you were like camping out for like a 5 a.m. sale or something. And that just made everybody laugh. But so these ladies, what they took, they took the sling back. They took um, the cafe crossbody, right? Perfect shopping bags, hands free. They took a large utility tote and a deluxe to hold all their packages. They took a thermal because they wanted to pack some food. So it was great. They like really thought about it and thought about every single thing that they needed to get their shopping done. And then we had to guess, myself included, we had to guess where they were going. So we pretty much knew they were going shopping, but that duffel really threw us for a loop. Now, we went around the entire room and everybody played. We had the best time. There were people snatching and stealing when it came time for their turns. And they were like, I can't believe you took this bag. Now, a couple of the items were the exclusive items. I bet those were part of the thing. They could grab those too. That rolling cooler got picked by almost everybody. Almost everyone in that room needed the rolling cooler to go where they were going. A couple of, the, a couple of my things, I'm sorry if I'm squirreling but just ask me questions okay um one very specific card i wrote up was the i am going to a housewarming and i am going to a dinner party because i want to talk about the close to home trip because i feel like with it not being in the catalog it gets brushed over so these two cards make me talk <laughs> <laughs> these two cards make me talk about the close to home tray. So I always hope that somebody gets these because I always say, oh, you forgot the close to home tray. You need that as your housewarming gift. Boom. Right? Okay. Um, side note, time out. Did you all see the BBC video of the baby and the little girl and the dad with the hand? 
that's Kate Bigelow's comment. She's waiting for a baby to stroll in the room. But um, my my fur baby, I bought him a bed and he's sound asleep on it right now. So it worked. But um, squirreling. So basically, this party, everybody, you always squirreling. This party was hilarious. These ladies had their hands on bags that they never would have had their hands on. And it got everybody thinking outside of the box. And what it did was it gave me even more ideas. So the ladies that were at the party were veterans. These ladies have been partying with me for five years. And so they really needed a new presentation style. They loved it. However, they suggested that I give out blank cards and let everybody fill out where they want to go because they felt like like one girl got camping and she's like, I'm never, ever, ever, ever going to go camping. So I'm never gonna need that to pair up. And I'm like, okay. So basically she was shopping for the card and not for herself. So that got me thinking because ladies booked off that party. So for their, their next party that I do with them, I'm gonna be bringing blank cards and I'm going to say, I want you to write on there somewhere you're going, something in your life that you, um, that you could, that you could use these bags for, because then they're automatically shopping for themselves, not the game. So I'm going to do a mix. I'm going to have some blank cards on top to say, you know, if you have an idea already, ladies, what you're here for, I'm going to give you a blank card. But if you're kind of, you don't really know, you need some ideas, then I'll have the idea cards for them. Robin just asked, how could you play this if you only have the starter kit? Absolutely. Same exact way, Robin. Robin, you could, um, you could use the catalog and you could have them, you know, maybe circle things in the catalog that they could use or, um, or, you know, just shout out, grab, you know, if they need a Benjamin and they need a large utility tote to go shopping, but they also want a thermal and you don't have the size thermal, they could just hold up the catalog and say, I'm going to use this, this, and this. So I think there's definitely ways to work it if you don't have a large stock, a large kit. Um, just got to get creative, but you definitely, definitely can do that. Um, yeah, Jamie, the blank card idea, it really is fun. And it's also fun to, I was talking with, um, Pam and Pam suggested to have them, uh, tag team where you do two teams of girls. So, you know, this, this team is going to go to Disney world and this team is going to go Christmas shopping and then split up and, and just destroy the display. What I want them to do is to destroy my display. I want all those bags gone. I want them all in their hands. Now, that Saturday party that I did this with, it was my first time doing it, so I was a little like anxious about it, but these ladies were veterans. They know the products as well as I do. Um, I'm really, really excited to say that this party is over $1,700, and this hostess is getting $700 hundred dollars in free product. Um, she worked it and she followed up with every single person who canceled and every single person who shopped, they shopped hard. So um, it was a really, really fun party. Now fast forward to Sunday where I did it again. I had a much smaller group. I had only six ladies and those ladies thoroughly enjoyed it too. However, they, um, they didn't take as much. Obviously, I still had a lot of bags that I wanted to kind of do like, oh wait, did you ladies? see this kind of thing um, and that party is at a much smaller total but that's okay that's the fun of being at a home party you just don't know what you're gonna get but I think it's really fun for those ladies who have been around the block a while with 31 they're looking for a new party style I think this is a really really fun way that you can do it thanks Jamie love the two team idea I think there's so many different ways that you can run this I mean you can have them customize their cards. You can use the catalog. You can um, just do specific things. You know, um, you could just do something with just thermals or just utility, or if you only have certain purses. I mean, you can really totally tweak this to fit you and your bags and your personality. What size party would this work best for? Well, I did a party with um, 15 and I did it at a party with six and it worked really well. They really enjoyed the bags. It was them talking about the bags the whole time. 
and then if there was something that I felt they needed on their trip I would be like oh wait you know what ladies you totally could have used like the ladies who did the housewarming party they took a catch-all bin and um, the rolling cooler and another thermal and I said but ladies you need the close to home tray and they were like oh the close to home tray so you know you can add in the consultant side of it the booking seats would be the exclusives because you have them out on the floor let them use those products right if you have them um, let them let them use them because if they get their hands on them they're gonna want them which in turn they're gonna book a party with you and the recruiting seed would just be it's really fun to have this job um, I mean, that's what I, I had a woman brand new to 31. She had never heard of it, never seen it, didn't own it, came to the party, had no idea what to expect. And at one point I did sit down with her and I said, are you overwhelmed? I don't want to make you overwhelmed. And she's like, are you kidding? This is the best party I've been to. This is a great home party. So, and then she asked me if I'd been doing this for 10 years because she said I was really comfortable with it. So meanwhile, I was a nervous wreck because this was the first time I ever did this party style. So that was like a really sweet compliment that she gave me um, now as far as online parties I think there is definitely a way to tweak this to fit your Facebook parties which is how we get into Facebook partying so um, one of the ways that you could do it is you could post ahead of time and say um, ladies who's up for a game and then you could pri whoever posts in and says yes I want to play you could private message them where they're going so private message them i am packing to go on vacation what bags would you need to pack to go on vacation then she could scour through the catalog if she has it she could go online and make a list and then she could when it's time for the game to start in your online party she would post in and say i'm packing a large utility tote I'm packing a deluxe utility tote, I'm packing the rolling cooler, and the sling back bag. For example, where am I going? And then all your other guests could guess, could take guesses and figure out where she's going. So that's just one idea. I mean, you could really go so many different directions with this. And please, if you want to talk about it more, I would love to. Um, I think it's one of those things you just have to make it work for you and, and your time and your schedule. Um, but I think there's definitely some opportunity there to take it online and in home. Um, let me think if there was anything else I wanted to add to it. Uh, this weekend, using this party style, I booked three parties at the first party and one at the second. Um, and I haven't booked off a party in a while. So that felt really, really good. And that told me that they like this party style and that they want to do it again. Now, one thing I did do just to make it a little extra special is sometimes to parties, I bring the saran wrap game, which most of you know, I have the big pink dice from five below. Um, so what I did was anyone who we didn't guess where they were going. If they totally stumped us, they were entered in to play the saran wrap game because my party was so large. I had 15 people. I can't play the saran wrap game with 15 people, but I wanted, you know, four to six people to play that game. So all the ladies that stumped us got to play the saran wrap game as like an extra little like, oh, you got us, you win. And then they played that game. So for, so it was kind of twofold and it was, it was just really, really fun. Those ladies had such a great time and it made me feel really good that, um, that I brought something new to the table for them and that it wasn't just like a demonstration. Do you know what I mean? So um, what do you guys think? What are we What are we thinking about it? How would you tweak it? Um, do you have any advice? Do you have any suggestions? Have you been doing this already? Um, talk to me, tell me about what you think. So Michelle O'Malley said, planning a snow day mystery hostess party with my VIPs tomorrow. I might give this a go. Definitely, Michelle, and you can even scale it down. Like if it's too, if the catalog is just too vast and if you think it'll take too much time or maybe they're just not into it, you could focus it just to totes and say, you know, if you, um, if you were going, if you were going out with your girlfriends, what would be the one tote that you think all your girlfriends would take? I don't know. I'm just throwing that out there, but something along those lines and you could just center it around the monthly special I don't know I'm just totally thinking outside of the box right now but 
Um, I, like I said, I spoke about it on the director's page, um, my idea and how far it's gone, and everybody was really, really excited about it and saying how they were going to try it and who's tried it and had success. And um, you're doing your first official house party, Kristen. That's awesome. And you like the idea. Yay. That makes me happy. Uh, Jamie Davis, I'm going to do the blank card idea this Sunday at my cousin's party where they will write where they will go. I think I'll play this song. I'm happy for you. I think it's going to work. Um, Jamie, I did. I had everyone, like they were partnered up, so one partner at a time, but all the partners, you know what I'm saying? They all went. When I tell you it was like a $99 David's Bridal sale, I wish I had my phone on. I would have videoed and showed it to you guys. It was like, ah. I mean, it was insane and I loved it. Um... Hope you can totally do it. Totally do it. Um, offer it out. Go do a live on your page and say, ladies, I have these cards. I want to know where you're going. Um, we're going to have a great time. Jenny, how would you encourage them to play? Maybe offering a prize or doing a drawing. I know. I think offering the prize to the person who could stump everybody. This way you're not giving out everybody. You're just giving it out to the one person who's stumped. And, uh, you know, the obvious prize is like, Courtney, I only do PV bumpers. So, um, key fob personalization. Those are mine. Um, Allison, I did not give any prizes. Nope. I don't do any prizes. Um, like I said, there was a saran wrap game, but that was just for the people who were stumped. Um, but as for everybody, I didn't do a prize. Mm-mm. Okay, Michelle said, I think I'll message them their destination. It's up to them when they post in. I'm bringing this and this, so it's sprinkled throughout the event. Ooh, that's good. I can't see the end of your message, but um, that's a good idea to kind of sprinkle it in and out and maybe not be at your, um, I'm afraid you, it would, my worry with doing it online is it could get really big, um, really fast and kind of hard to keep track of. So maybe if you just had your hostess do it, and have your hostess pick a destination and have all her guests figure out where the hostess is going. And maybe you could do a live every time, have your hostess private message you where she's going, right? You know where she's going. So have her private message you all the bags that she's gonna need for her destination. And then you do a live to the party saying, She's going to need a Cindy tote, and she's going to need this, and she's going to need that. And you're showcasing all her bags, and they're typing in, oh, I think she's going to the beach. I think she's going to Disney. I think she's going here. I think she's going there. And, um, and then maybe whoever guesses where she's going gets the prize. Please, like literally, did you, did you see the light bulb? Like seriously, light bulb moment. That just happened. You're picking up what I'm throwing down. That's a girl. Um, I'm totally going to do it on my next Facebook party. That is the winner idea right there, ladies. Look at all the hearts. Um, yeah, that's it. Have the hostess have the destination. She private messages you. You do the live showing her bags. They guess. Dude, the hamster. Literally. If you looked in my ear, there's a hamster in there. Today's Monday, like it's my day. It is my day to like conquer the world and take over because tomorrow's Snowmageddon and I'm jamming it up all day. Like I'm in my cute leggings today. These are my, my cute new leggings from my party. But tomorrow's jammy day. Yes, Michelle, please post in on the comments here. So, and even tag me so that I can hear how this goes because I'm dying. I don't have any Facebook parties this week. So um, I can't even try it out on anybody. But um, um, I think this is going to be really a great, great idea. So I'm so excited to hear from all you guys. So listen, if you end up trying this idea and um, whether or not it's a hit or a flop, I don't see how it can be a flop. I just don't. I, I don't see the negative in this at all. I think it's only positive. I think you can all tweak it to your own styles and personalities. Like I said, on the director page where I had originally talked about this, one of the fabulous directors, she made up this whole, like using all of our, all of our spring prints and then she wrote in font on hers and then she's laminating her cards. Like She's on it, not me. I went to Target and I wrote with a Sharpie, but that's me. Like, that's the beauty of this business. It's like, 
some of us are go-getters and we like to laminate and others just like Target and Sharpies and both are great. So, um, yeah, so that's what worked for me. And I was so excited to share that with all of you guys. And I'm really excited that you're excited about it. And um, please post in the comments and let me know how it goes for you. And um, hopefully you have a huge success. I'm, I, I, my party is just, my hostess is flipping out excited. She literally is getting one of everything in the catalog um, and then some. So it, it worked for us and um, I hope it works for all of you guys. So, all right, listen, I gotta go get ready for uh, Snowmageddon and, um, you know, do laundry. So talk to you guys next Monday. I hope you all have a beautiful week and a, um, just a huge successful week. Okay. Love to all of you. Bye guys.